Welcome back to the Scout Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got a video today from the owl. You know, uh, he made a video of why Passport Bros is so appealing. You know, there's so many things that's going on in the West, especially with the women, that it just makes it easier and easier for men to see this type of content and want to just travel overseas. So please like and subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate that. And let's get to that chow. It's chow time. Gonna stink sometimes. It is what it is. What? I am so glad you said that because I was sitting here and I was like, the f <laughs> oh, I don't think it's supposed to be like that, ladies. And if you are smelling something and you don't even know where that odor is coming from until you spread your legs and like you know <laughs> look for it, that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. <laughs> It is a sickness! It is often said, life isn't fair. Who is more likely to be expected to accept injustice, men or women? Um, women. What? If it's not men, okay. why do we have the expression, take it like a man? <laughs> You're good. <laughs> um, because men are supposed to have this strong front, you know, so. Does a man have the right to define what a woman is? Absolutely not. So then what gives women the right to define what a man is? We don't. But didn't you just say a man's supposed to be this and a man's supposed to be that? I supposed to, yeah. Is that not defining what a man is? Well, somewhat, but not just clear like okay. that. No, no. Even when they are caught, women in the West can't accept their wrong and take responsibility. It is always about them being right. Imagine living in the same house and having children with such a woman. Well, one thing is sure. She will give you a preview of what hell is. <laughs> he ain't wrong. He ain't wrong. You know what else? What? What's up? Well, you just got caught. Caught what? Caught what? Oh shit! Let's go. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Hey, these guys did a whole sting right, operation and everything. Over. <laughs> like, you really just failed. Like. Wait. What are you saying? What are you saying? What the? See, you got set here? up. And you're kissing him. I'm your boyfriend. <laughs> They're my friends. They're with me. Don't worry about it. They're the crew. Cheater. You ever oh kissing other oh people? Oh Get off the car, bro. What? I mean, what are you doing? I can't. You just kiss them. I can't. Bro. I mean, this is a bit much. Just let her go, bro. Let her go. Get all your in my car. Dude, he has like a whole crew, crew of like. Oh man, that's a lot of people. <laughs> Don't come back. Babe, that was for a whole script. That. That was for a whole script. No, it was not. I can't, I can't I'm done with you, man. Get out. Get out of Get out of Get out of Get I don't even know where she's running to. All that fuck I'm wasting. Just let her yeah, go, okay. Let All her right. go. Whatever. Oh, my God. Should we? Should we maybe call her an Uber or something? <laughs> Shut up! Dude. She She's the cheater that walked off. Why you call her an Uber? This is your average Western woman. I'm not saying that other women are angels, but at least they are part of a culture that doesn't uphold such behavior. And let's be honest here for a sec. It is frequent occurrence for women in the West to entertain multiple men at the same time. This is true. Especially when they are in their late teens and all throughout their twenties. But the moment they hit the wall, this is what they do. Dear future husband, I require a man of God. I require good morning text. I require flowers. I require date nights. I require time. I require respect. I require loyalty. I require love. I require affection. I require reassurance. <laughs> I require all these things. Yes. For those that's been following me, I have been on a spiritual journey and been you know getting closer to god and i've committed my life fully to him so let me get this straight <laughs> after she rode and sucked off all the pookies the ray rays the chads and the tyrants after she has given herself body and soul to the carousel after all the entertainer and athletes she has allowed to have fun with her cheeks now she decides to get close to god and find a husband 
Now that she is starting to fall apart now she wants you to come along and pay full price for a used car. This is the western woman in a nutshell. She wants the privilege to be free during her prime, and she wants the privilege to enjoy the successes of a man during his. That husband that she's talking about was not good for her when she was younger, nope. but now, after she has hit the wall, now he is worthy. Not just that, like the whole man of God thing. There's so many women become religious or becoming, you know, found God in these later years. So you sin forever or, you know, sin for 10 plus years or so. And then now you see God and you just expect everyone to just be like, you got it. You know, like, I don't get that. If your daddy ain't shit, clap your hands. Wow. If your daddy ain't shit, clap your hands. Wow. Yeah. Holy. This is probably one of the worst clips I've seen. You're going to make a whole song and have your kid clap along and while you're t trashing the father? This kid's going to have some issues when he grows up. Okay. She made a song, disrespecting her son's father in front of her son, and saying that he ain't ish. You know what, please, level with me. Who is the butt of the joke here? The man who ain't ish. Or the woman who got knocked up by a man who ain't ish. Anne has to make a song about it. You know. She's a special kind of stupid. And it's like the same song as, I got a pickle, I got a pickle. I got a pickle. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> you got to hear this. So 70% of inmates are a product of a single parent household. Mm -hmm. What they don't tell you is that single fathers produce similar statistics of those of homes with two parents, while single mothers don't. So the key to keep your children out of prison is the father. But mothers are awarded custody 90% of the time. Women are incentivized to leave a marriage. And prisons profit $74 billion a year. Am I thinking too much, or is there some sort of plan here? Nope, you ain't thinking mu too much at all, bro. That is exactly the plan that they've set up for the system. Why? So they can drain as much money from the fathers as possible and then toss them into, you know, the abyss. Stay hungry, my friends. It's chow. Thirsty. I could offer my whole self. No, no secrets and all. Okay. Loyalty, faithfulness, okay. everything that could make him happy. You ever hear a Western woman talking about how she's going to make her man happy? Nope. nope. You know what we hear from the West? What a man can do to make me happy. What a man can bring to the table for me. What I can benefit. How I could spend his money. A lot of men complain about how dating is easier for women versus men. And I how was like, so? well, just saying that, you know, we don't have to do anything. We just get to show up and be courted. And I was like, spell courted, first of all. And when was the last time you courted somebody? Like, please show me the tab from the last time you went and took somebody. So it matters how much they spend on you. And that's where you're seeing courting is so they have to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on you for it to be courting you know them spending time and resources on you is a big part of courting already doesn't have doesn't matter how much resources they actually spend ladies be out somewhere because i guarantee you did not do much but show up right and i don't want to start any arguments but oh well i think that dating <laughs> is easy for men all you really gotta do is have some money to pay for the date so we don't have to approach women either, you know, and, and money is so easy to get for everybody. That's why people are struggling paycheck to paycheck, even women. So yes, it's so easy, my ladies. Most of the time women just want you to pay for stuff. Women. I was once told by some old dude that streetwalkers were honest women and average women were dishonest streetwalkers. I was too young to get it then, but now it makes too much sense. Women that have to man, get pretty, put some on facts. some clothes, make sure your hair is did. And that's just the, the physical layer. Mm -hmm. Y'all be out here wasting our time. You don't have no conversation. Oh, I'm special number one. Okay, tell us why. Delineate it. One, one, two, three, four, five. Tell up? us why. How do I stand up? <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. Tell us why you're special. Go ahead. Outline why. I mean, I feel like a guy, a guy will like a girl who can, you know, guys provide, but you also have to provide, take care of yourself. Okay. Have something going for yourself. Now, what do you provide? That's what we're asking you. Everything. But, but Define everything. Please tell us. I mean, there's a lot. Like, we got I time. Say, no, we, we got time today. We got time today. Good. 
<laughs> yeah, list at least something. And that's why guys cheat. There you go. Yeah, there you go. You literally can't even define <laughs> what makes you special. So, so what I can't. Good, good. No, you can't. We got time today. Oh, yeah. See, here's the difference. This is the thing. I'm going to keep it a thousand with y'all. The reason why you can't define it is because men have never looked you dead in the face and say, tell me what makes you special because no one ever questions women on their bullshit. The reality is most of y'all are not fucking special. And you don't know what mm -hmm. to do for a date. You insecure. They gonna be mad. They gonna be mad again. I was trying not to do it. <laughs> but what I'm realizing is that women, especially black women, are a special kind of stupid. The passport bro seem to be a high commodity <laughs> nowadays, so let's just go ahead and get straight into it. This is another case of black women not minding their business. Mm -hmm. Y'all didn't care about meal order bribes until black men happened to make it popular. This is but true. of course you feel entitled to being the BBC commander with something no longer. <laughs> I really love the BBC commander thing. <laughs> benefits you, although these are the same men that you said you didn't want, didn't need, and they are broke. I'm gonna be honest, going overseas to travel frequently and live does not equate to broke. But then again, this just simply speaks to the delusion and hypocrisy of women these men have been very clear in their message they've said time and time again they want a wife someone they can build with start their family with someone they can create a legacy with which i heard was they wanted someone that they can control y'all minimize being a wife simply down to being a slave even so much as telling those other women overseas that they're uneducated and practicing sex tourism and in turn a lot of y'all have took your degree and traded it in for only fans profile Damn. nobody said anything this when we were going to dubai we know why you were going. Nobody said anything when women were flying state to state. Get I mean, the last video kind of stated why they were to the buy. That's for sure. To get down and dirty. And flew it out. We know what you were doing. Nobody say anything when Nigerian and Jamaican men needed green cards and y'all started falsifying marriage documents so you could drive your Range Rover with your red bottoms. Let's just call a spade a spade. Y'all wanted the option to go back to these men after the man that you really wanted was done dragging you through the mud. Mm-hmm. Till next time, guys. That was a good set of clips from uh, the owl. You know, hopefully you guys go and give him some support. He's a little bit over 1,000. Help him get to 2,000. You know, fucking give, spread some love to this man. Please like and subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate it. And uh, catch you guys next time. Ciao, ciao.